The cat's doing a decent job, other than in the air. So, this is a big problem. Even though they can physically touch it, they don't seem to want to... Hello friends, we're going to be playing some more modded Terraria today. Just going to get some quick inventory management done. And then I believe we're going to try to do a little bit of fishing, since we recently got the sitting duck fishing pole. Get minions. Uh, actually, I probably should get a task from the angler before I just run off. And I'm gonna definitely need some bugs. Looks like lots of butterflies are around. That'll be some good bait. Hopefully, we get lucky with the tasks that the angler decides to assign us. And if I can learn how to open doors. Alright, Surface Tundra. I believe I have one of those on this world. This was the only place I could find that had water on the Surface Tundra. I know it's pretty small, so I think it gets a handicap, but... Okay, well, and there's the Tundra Trout. Or Tundra Trout. It didn't take too long. Maybe five to ten minutes. Not too bad. Let's see what he will give us for our effort. Sonar potions? Okay, I like those. They'll help for next time. And for crates. Alright, so I was just coming to explore the jungle a little bit since it changed. And I believe this is another of the elusive mobs, or the, the rare spawns that the tracker wants me to kill. It, it, I'm just letting my minions eat it alive. It's pretty simple. Looks like we got two items from him. Um, summon. Oh, okay, it's just another sentry. I like it when it tells you it's a sentry rather than just says summoning damage. And the bloom guard. I have to see if it affects me or just multiplayer. Okay, so I can get the buff, and it looks like I am getting little one HP regen things. And I'm trying to see how much defense it gives. I believe it was five. Okay, I've been killing some harpies here for a little bit. Just collecting some loot up. Haven't had any luck getting the boss summons or what I needed, what I was looking for here. Okay, so I was doing some more fishing in the underground. Got a golden carp. That's pretty cool. And this is an angler quest. And there... Yep, there's the bonefish. Back to back. Sadly, it looks like the golden carp isn't a material. So I won't be able to put him in a tank or anything. I would much rather keep him than... We'll keep him as an aesthetic item rather than sell him. But if I can't display him or anything, I might as well sell him. Um, little seaweed plant. Yeah, Angler, you can just have that back. I I don't care for that too much. Alright. Golden carp. And some other random fish, I guess. Might as well try this. See if it's a better summon. He, I don't know what caused this to unlock, but it does have higher base damage. I gotta get rid of all of them. I don't know why only... That's weird, only summon one. Alright, and I got my little cat army now. Let's see how they do. Hopefully they're good. Alright, just in the underworld on the little bridge down here. Just killing some things, trying to test the cats out. A lot of fiery maw. Okay, that seems like it could definitely be useful. Especially since I've got the bow, I wonder if it could maybe proc that like four times at once. Hmm. Nope, gets the yeah. Alright, just gonna do some reforging, because I do like the yarn ball. Seemed pretty decent. Gonna 
get rid of that staff. I shouldn't need it anymore. The cat seems to be doing pretty good. Alright, let's see what's over this way. So I found this pretty cool book. I guess it comes from one of the mods. But it gives little descriptions of each of the enemies, or each of the bosses and many bosses. So it's pretty cool. I like uh, little lore details like that. Also tells you how to get their summons. Which is pretty cool. So I believe these drop an element that I need in order to make the uh, spaceship fight, or spaceship boss fight. I'm just going to wait here a little bit and see if I can't get one of those. I don't like how the cats are having trouble killing things in the air. That was definitely one advantage of the eaters. They didn't really care if they were flying or not. They destroyed it. Um, I've seen the Detach Blaster before. It's, it's nothing special. It's just a magic weapon that does mediocre damage. We're going to have to keep waiting and see if we can't get any more UFO invaders here. The cat's doing a decent job other than in the air. So, this is a big problem. Even though they can physically touch it, they don't seem to want to damage the spaceship. Oh, that's not a good sign. I'm somewhat regretting trying to do the summoner build. Or, well, relying primarily on summons. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.